Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you something that I've tried to do for a long time, many years in fact, uh, which is an affordable gimbal setup for larger cinema style cameras. In this case I've got the Ursa Mini Pro, it's going to work with red, even airy cameras. Um, and also, like I said, not only something that won't break the bank, but uh, this is also a setup that is simple, fast to set up, and that just works. Now this whole setup I've got today is built uh, using the main component is the Zion Crane 3S gimbal. Uh, I'm not going to do a review of this. This is kind of showing you my whole setup and the reason is because if you were to just simply throw in any large cinema camera onto this gimbal, yeah the gimbal can take the weight but uh, then the problem is how the hell do you walk around with it and operate it for longer periods of time without killing yourself, your, your shoulder, your, your, your back or things like that. Uh, so that's why what, kind of what I did up here is I bought various different accessories. Most of the parts actually or the key parts are from uh, Digital Photo. It's a company I reviewed a bunch of their products before uh, and I'm using their ring here that I mounted the gimbal onto and also uh, I'm using their Easy Rig to then take off the whole weight of this and then a few other accessories I'm going to show you and then th with that I'm actually able by myself to walk around with this whole really big setup for long periods of time and actually get smooth looking shots and of course I'm not killing myself while I'm doing all of this uh, now the gimbal itself is, is great in the fact that it, it can handle a lot of weight uh, it's rated at maximum weight of 14.3 pounds and my actual camera setup here which like I said is the Ursa Mini Pro I have the Zine Cinema Lens I have a matte box I have a follow focus here from KMTV, I have even a V-mount battery uh, connected up here, like I have basically everything that I would have normally with this camera, uh, so you know, let's say if I wanted to uh, get some, some shots here on a gimbal, I can set up on a gimbal, but then if I, let's say right away after that I wanted to quickly set up on a tripod or something, I can just take off, you know, just loosen the, the base plate here, slide it off the gimbal, put it on my tripod, get shots that way, and then if I need to go back to, to the gimbal, again it's fast one for me to do it, because because I don't have to reconfigure the camera and make it super light just so it works on the gimbal. Essentially I'm putting my whole rigged out camera that I would normally have uh, up here on the gimbal. Uh, now the camera itself it actually weighs 14 pounds or almost 14 pounds just under. So it's literally pushing the, the limits here of this gimbal. Uh, and as you guys will see uh, it works great, there's no problems. Now I know probably some of you guys are wondering did I buy the Pro version of the Crane 3S? And no I didn't, I just bought uh, the one that, that retails for it's around $700. Uh, as always you guys check the links in the description of the video for latest prices uh, and where you can get it. But I got the cheaper version of this gimbal, I didn't get the one with all the extra accessories like the follow focus or wireless video systems because I already have those. Uh, but also one of the accessories that you can get with the Pro version is the extended battery pack which initially I thought that I needed that in order to put like basically to maximize the weight on this gimbal but actually it turns out that no you don't you can literally just with the three batteries that fit in the gimbal you it's gonna work it's just if you want more I guess longer battery life without having to switch the batteries then you might want to think about bu buying that battery pack but uh, but if you don't mind switching the batteries you know while you're stop recording then 
uh, just using those three internal batteries in the gimbal is totally fine has plenty of power to be able to lift like I said this really heavy setup so again this is 14 pounds now like I said the camera itself is heavy here with the lens and all that stuff but when you actually uh, look at the whole thing overall which is you know then the whole ring uh, I have a monitor here and this is a monitor uh, from OC. It's a really cool monitor and I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna do a review of this uh, sometime in the future because it's got a lot of really cool high-end features that some much more expensive monitors have. But anyways, it's a great quality monitor. Uh, it's fairly light and I attached it here using this clamp that I have and a little magic arm uh, and then you know I just have a thin SDI cable here running from the camera to there. Uh, now the monitor itself is being powered by a V-mount battery that I have up here and the V-mount battery is actually connected using a little V-mount attachment that also is actually made by Digital Photo, the same company that made the ring. Uh, and basically what it is, is it just allows you to clip on a V-mount battery uh, and you can put it anywhere on, on the ring or some other accessories because it's like a, basically a clamp arm that you tighten. Um, and then that allows you to then power th your accessories, like for example the monitor. I could actually be powering my camera uh, and probably if I'm using this for like big productions and stuff uh, on actual jobs I'll probably just end up you know splitting the power from this battery and powering my camera my follow focus and the monitor all of this one v-mount battery I don't need to have another v-mount battery attached to the camera but I literally I, the reason why I did it right now for my initial test is just because I wanted to see like in case I wanted to literally throw in my whole cinema camera rig with the battery attached can I still fly it on uh, on this gimbal and then you know carry it for a long time using this whole setup? Um, so like I said, you don't need to have the two batteries, but I do. I also have a, a Cam TV wireless follow focus system here uh, that I normally use with my camera, but in this case the uh, transmitter or the controller for it is attached here using uh, the rosette and basically it's like a rosette attachment that comes actually with the digital photo ring. And uh, so you can attach like different accessories to it, but it also has quarter 20 and 3 8 inch uh, threads on there. So you can attach different things. So again, I attached a little magic arm and I have the follow focus. So this way, as I'm holding the gimbal with my right hand, I can just with my thumb control the focus. Uh, and so that, that's really cool. And then the last thing actually is, uh, well, that's something that I know I've seen already a few people talking about using this uh, ring from digital photo, but they were complaining that the base plate was very flimsy, that the camera would loosen on, on people. Well, I actually got their latest upgraded base plate. I believe all of the new rings you're going to get from these guys already have that upgraded base plate. And that one is designed specifically, I mean, it's going to work with different gimbals, but it's designed to fit specifically the Zion Crane 3S. Uh, and it fits it perfectly and it has two extra like little screws on the bottom that will prevent the 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 gimbal basically the the thread there from accidentally loosening and rotating left and right so once you attach it to this it's you attach actually with an allen key it will not you know like i said will not detach from the bottom of the gimbal now you do have a quick release here on the bottom of of uh of the gimbal so you can still remove this whole thing if you wanted to uh, but like I said, it's only using that quick release. Uh, you also have these little legs here that the, the ring comes with that uh, You can leave it under. I mean, I always leave it because they don't get in the way But they're great when you do want to put it down the whole ring It just kind of stands up nicely and, and uh, you know, it's it's easy basically to keep it nice and level and, and off the ground um, So like I said this whole setup up here Once I add, add it all up it actually ends up weighing almost 30 pounds it's like 28 and a half pounds all together with the two v-mount batteries and all that stuff so obviously like i said if i take off one of the v-mount batteries i can cut that weight down uh, but in this case i wanted to make sure okay can i still use it with all of those things attached to it uh, because you know in some cases i might even want to attach like a wireless video system so i might attach a transmitter here and then you know piggy the back off of my monitor and then that would again allow, let's say, maybe somebody else even to pull focus and watch the, the, the framing and the shot on another monitor that's, you know, in a completely separate location. Or maybe you have, a, again, another monitor for a client or things like that for, for the, for the direct director. So um, it, it's good to be able to, like I said, to be able to attach all these things, but it's also important that you are uh, able to lift it all up. Now, 
Uh, I think I'm a fairly fit and healthy guy, but trust me, carrying around almost 30 pounds and also in this kind of uncomfortable position is not easy, or at least doing it smoothly and doing it for a long time. So, you see, if I lift it up here, you know, and I can lift up 30 pounds, my kids weigh around 30 pounds, uh, and I, I can definitely lift this up, but it is, it does get tiring. Uh, so right away I knew that if I'm gonna, like if this thing is gonna work, then one of the things I'm gonna have to do is uh, to, to get one of those basically supports that basically lifts up the weight and, and takes it off of your, your arms and your shoulders. And I was looking at a few different ones and then I realized that the same company that makes this ring actually came up with one. And uh, I'll show you guys quickly that setup here. Let me put this down. So what I've got here is uh, basically an easy rig made by digital photo so you have the arm like this essentially hangs over your head uh, what's nice is it has this dampening system here with the spring you can adjust the tension of this and then here on the back of the actual vest you'll have a dampening system uh, and also a release lever uh, so you can adjust for example the tension that you want on the string so let's say if you have a lighter setup you might want to loosen this uh, and if you have a heavier setup like I have, then you can tighten it more. So you have just the right amount of basically tension on that on that rope. And that will allow you to essentially then adjust the height of your rig. And then once you have it adjusted, then you just let it go and it will stay at that height. Uh, you know, if, it's, if it keeps on, for example, dropping, then you, know, you need to pull up the tension. Or if it keeps on pushing it up, then you loosen the tension. And it's very easy to do it basically yourself one, once you have it on you because you just reach w with one arm here and you get some nice big knob and you can turn it left or right. Uh, you have also, like I said here, a lever for just releasing it completely, all the tension. Uh, solidly built. Uh, the vest itself is really nice too. And I'll tell you guys though, one mistake I made initially when I started using this is that I did not adjust, uh, or basically I just didn't think that this was important, adjust the, uh, adjusting the length of these straps here in the front. Uh, I just basically put it on there and it was tightened all the way. And essentially what was happening is that the whole weight of the vest was resting on my shoulders. And then also the, the belt, instead of being on my hips, it was kind of up here in my stomach. And then the problem with that was that once I actually put the weight of the whole rig uh, on the arm, it was pushing it forward and the, the belt was like basically jamming into my stomach. So not only was it hard on my shoulders, but it was also just uncomfortable in my stomach. I had it on for like five minutes and I'm, yeah, it's, uh, I just say you gotta be in really good physical shape. So once I actually adjusted it, meaning I loosened these uh, straps here, the shoulder straps, I dropped the whole rig here on my hips and then I tightened it around my hips, then actually it was amazing like what a difference it made because then essentially once I put the, the whole rig and I hanged it off of this uh, easy rig, what, what I noticed right away was that first of all, there was no weight really on my shoulders, so it made it a lot more comfortable, but also uh, then if I, for example, lean forward or back, it didn't matter, it, the, the, the whole vest, because it was attached, basically hanging off my uh, hips, it wasn't pressing in. It wasn't like basically, you know, making it uncomfortable for my stomach. And I've had this now for like just over a half an hour and walking around with it, getting shots and it works. It actually allows me to work with it. There's no way I could carry this, like I said, for a half hour. Uh, and you know, the good thing is even if I want to change the settings, I can let go of this, you know, I can adjust whatever I need to on the camera or on the lens, things like that. Uh, I can adjust, see the angle of the monitor. So let's see if I want to get a low angle shot. I can just push this down and then the, the line in the spring there kind of keeps that same height and the tension. I can walk around, I can get low angle shots. Then if I want to, for example, put the camera up higher and go higher, I can adjust the monitor here. And you can see I can get shots like this too. And overall, this whole vest is just solely made, like the belt, so all the, all the things, you know, are properly sewn and everything has a lot of padding, so it's comfortable, uh, easy to adjust, like I said, the tension and also the tension here of the dampening arm. The dampening arm works amazingly when you're walking with it, it takes a lot of the bounciness off. Uh, and then also the cool thing is that when you're done with this, if you want to basically put it away and it comes actually with a travel case, then you essentially just pull the arm down. You can see it folds like this, so it becomes half its height. And then you put it in its carrying case, and that's it, you're ready to go. 
now getting back to the, the this whole setup here with the, of the ring and the gimbal and the camera like i said i'm going to do a more in detailed review of the actual zion crane 3s but whether it's this gimbal or some other gimbal that you're going to get and especially when you're going to get it or, or going to put on it like some kind of a bigger camera setup something with more weight i think getting a ring like the one here from digital photo is a must so definitely look out there for you know whichever one fits better but i think you know for the zion crane 3s this this ring is the, the best is this one from digital photo because like i said that base plate really locks it in there and makes sure that that this gimbal will never come apart even when uh, you know let's say if you happen to have some accidents now i actually was uh i fell down one time and i had a pretty bad fall i actually like, pulled a muscle on my leg and, and the reason was because uh, I, I tried to run with this gimbal. Now, I'm not saying you can't run, if, definitely if, uh, if the terrain is even and all that stuff. You can do it, but yeah, let's just say I, I did it uh, uh, and I wasn't very prepared and the ground was uneven and uh, I took a quick flip with this gimbal. <laughs> hey. Now, surprisingly, even though I hit uh, the ground uh, first of all the ring actually protected the whole gimbal and the camera but also uh, the the ring here was was very, so solidly attached to the gimbal that nothing happened so i'm here with craig from ubi fire and the reason is because we're actually together with craig we've been on a search trying to find a cheap and easy way to fly these heavier camera setups so you used the ring already yes uh, and you I like it so far i like the ring because i have the tilt to M and I put the handles on the side so I can do follow focus with uh -huh. it. This I need a second operator. But. So yeah, I, so this is like a, I guess, do it yourself. Trinity. Yeah. Because I can't afford a Trinity. <laughs> Nobody can. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, any success with it so far? Uh, in the test so far. I was supposed to fly it today for this movie, but the uh -huh. shot got canceled. So hopefully we'll be able to like, uh, I'll do a follow up video with Craig and his do it do it himself kind of a trinity setup show you guys example shots but uh yeah kind of like i'm showing you guys different filmmakers but we're all you know look on on the search for the same kind of thing always trying to save a buck and get the best shots you can so in short if you guys are looking to fly a bigger camera uh this is definitely the kind of setup i, I can recommend if you guys enjoy this video make sure you check out my website for any future reviews and uh and uh, any filmmaking tutorials my name is Tom Antos and uh, my website is tomantosfilms.com.